Hello again, Toy Car Collectors. How's everybody uh, doing out there today? So yeah, in the last day or so, I checked out a video uh, posted by uh, Todd up there at Mountain 66 Diecast. And he showed a bunch of play arts. Because um, I know he's a big fan of the play arts. And, um, you know, I am too. So I thought, yeah, maybe I'd uh, show some myself. Uh, I got 10 of them here in uh, varying conditions, but all terrific cars. I am going to start here with this uh, police van, and that's a Mercedes. And I actually have two versions of this police van, which are very similar. Uh, see how this has a black grill? It also has a black base. Um, the other one I have actually has a gray grill and a gray base. But more or less, other than that, more or less identical. So super cool. That was one of the first ones I ever got many years ago. I do want to kind of knock the bigger vehicles off first. That's why I'm going to show this absolutely gigantic Mini Cooper. I have a red one of these as well. You know, for a Mini car, I'm not sure why the scale on this one is so huge. But still cool. Just a bit oversized though in my opinion. But it's a play art, and I guess that's all that really matters for this video. Yeah, I have a red one too, but this one's just in better shape, so. Uh, black base on that one, probably not going to show up too well. So there's the first two. Here's another one I've had a really long time. And that's a Mercedes. This one has a plastic base and everything. Those are like inserted you know, lights in the front and the back. Still a pretty cool model. Like this one here, you can see that the steering wheel is a totally separate piece. There's quite a few pieces to this particular player art model. So, super cool. I'll try to get all these guys in the background if I can. Next one I'll show here, which along with the Mercedes van and that Mercedes are the earliest ones I acquired. And that is a Mustang convertible. So it has a metal body. And a hitch. A little primitive. Probably not, not the most uh, realistic Mustang I've ever looked at, but... Still super cool. Got the little uh, console between the two front seats. Very nice shape. Very cool. I love these old cars. I mean, they may not be the most uh, accurate or whatnot, but uh, they're interesting to look at here. So, up next, this one's in a bit rough shape, and that is a Marzal, Lamborghini Marzal. That does have the older style wheels, which uh, are older than the wheels, like, let's say, on that uh, Mustang or that orange uh, Mercedes. This one's a bit rough. Still an interesting looking car. 
course, Matchbox, uh, they did this car a long time ago as well, back in the early 70s. Missing a, missing a hub on that one. Which is kind of the drawback of these early, early ones. Still super cool. This is probably one of the later ones I have here. And that's a Beamer. Is that like a Series 6 BMW? Early 80s BMW? A bit rough shape on that one. But quite a nice casting. Like I said, BMW, uh, excuse me, play arts, they don't really show up that often for me. Most of these I've found very cheap. I'm sure I can go online all day and buy them, but uh, I have a feeling I pay a fortune for them, you know? Yeah, pretty cool. The BMW. Sunroof. Cool car. This is probably the last car produced out of the whole set. And that is a uh, Z28 police car. Red interior. Definitely got some play wear. Still awesome. I know I've shown that one before. Alright, what do I want to look at next? How about that? The Toyota. That is an old one with those style rims. Not bad shape. Missing some paint. Very cool looking car there. Unfortunately, missing uh, one of the hubs, but uh, oh well. Still enjoy it. And that's how many we got. That is eight. All right. Um, this is a strange one here, and yes. That car has not been stepped on. It has been played with. And that's the Chevrolet Astro 1. Interesting car to look at a picture of if you can see a real one. Because the whole back on this car actually lifted up. And the two seats actually lifted up with the back when the back lifted up. So I think it allowed the you know, the driver and the passenger to get into the car. Um, yeah, that thing is low to the ground. It'd be nice to see a nice, clean version where it's actually sitting properly because it wouldn't be quite this low. But um, still an interesting, interesting casting to me. Rough shape. Somebody enjoyed this long before I ever got my hands on there. Astro One, made in Hong Kong. Cool car. And then I think my favorite here, out of all these here, is this nice green Caprice. I do have a uh, fire department version of this one in red as well. Just an awesome car. Um, a little more plastic than some of the other models. And some like the Toyota and the Barzell. Those are mostly metal. The you know Astro One. 
like that orange Mercedes. Yeah, it's a bit more on the plasticky side. But awesome Caprice. Nonetheless. And uh, yeah. Gotta love these old uh these old play art cars. Yeah, so if you want to see more of these, check out um, you know, Mountain 66's video. He's got a bunch of models I didn't show. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody.